So we talked standards, right? We talked about there's digital building standards, now there's intelligent buildings, TA is getting involved yeah. on, on the uh, digital building, smart building side of it. Bixie has their standard, best practices, design. We have all the lead, well, all these different things going on. Um, from your point of view, coming in from the sustainability piece or even digital piece, do you see those starting to tie together? Do you see a cross happening where sustainability standards seem more intelligent? Intelligent yeah. building standards seem to be becoming more energy efficiency and renewable energy, right? Yeah, so as a sustainability absolute fanatic and nerd, I see such an opportunity for folks to start considering designing buildings differently than they have for the past 100 years, which includes incorporating smart building design. So it goes well beyond standards. This is just good practice in terms of how people interact in the space. So I do see also significant conversion. I knew that the USGBC is actually releasing a pilot credit that involves encouragement and innovation with smart building practices and design uh, within the, the well space, the circadian lighting design and, and requirements within those features. And in LBC, how can you incorporate smart building technologies to, to meet zero energy requirements, zero carbon requirements? You're going to see all of these conversations start happening and converging together. Uh, weather predictability. As climate change continues to fluctuate, uh, you're going to see these smart That's spaces. Important. You mentioned predictability earlier. Mm -hmm. How is a smart building tying in an understanding of the weather that's going to happen the next day to, to make the HVAC load higher or lower, not just constant? It's going to actually react to what the weather is going to be the next day. That's uh, the predictability of it all, I think, feeds into sustainability, lower energy use, lower carbon emissions associated with that building. It's, it all ties together really, really well. No, that's important. And I think the standards are continuing to evolve to help support that. I think industry standards are critical, mm -hmm. right? So everybody's designing on the same page, right. going off the same playbook and doing this, the same things the right way. Then us, we can be innovative as manufacturers, right? To provide those products in it. and through our partners, I like to call it sometimes a power through partnership with our partners to enable all these activities and some things people haven't even thought of yet, right? Yes. You know, think of some new thing. What do you want to accomplish? You know what? We could take a look at that and we'll get things connected. Yep. And with our partners, how can we accomplish those goals? Right. Who else is going to be involved in the ecosystem in one year, in three years, in five years? I think, again, Cisco mentioned that, that they have a goal of a billion connected devices evolving from just smart buildings to smart cities. We're going to see so many new technologies uh, powered over Ethernet. Uh, within the within the future, it's going to be really cool to see. You know what I'd say is, uh, my question or challenge to anybody would be, why would I build a new building today, without it having sustainable features, yep. and it being intelligent at the same time? Because why would you not want to do it, right? And that's really what it comes down to. Right, the especially if it's cost neutral at the at the worst. Right. It doesn't require more fees to do this. Why would you not design with controllability, comfort, occupant well-being? energy savings in mind now. Other than the fact that we've just designed the same buildings the same way for 100 years, we have to evolve past that, and this is the evolution of where buildings are going in the future, I think. Yeah, there's really no fear. It's, it's here and it's ready to go.